Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another product information video. Um, today we're going to talk about our Just a Tonic, which is a tar and glue remover. So as you may know, tar and glue residue, one of the most difficult things to remove from your vehicle's paintwork. Um, Just a Tonic cuts through that really, really quickly. Um, it's a solvent-based tar and glue remover, so you apply it to a panel. It doesn't need to be rinsed off with water. You can apply this to a dry panel. For smaller bits of tar, you may be able just to apply this, leave it to soak for a minute or so, and pressure, pressure wash it off. For larger pieces of tar, I would recommend wiping with a clean microfiber towel. Now for this reason, this is one of the products that you use towards the end of your um, preparation process. So after you've done your pre-wash, your snow foam, your two bucket wash, then you'd use your tar and glue remover when you know the vehicle is as clean as you can get it. That way, if you are wiping with a microfiber towel, you reduce the risk of inflicting any marring or any swirling um, with said towel. Now, it can also be used on wheels as well. One of the few things that you do need to be aware with just a tonic, because it is a solvent, is you might want to test it on an inconspicuous area, especially when it comes to wheels. If you've got a wheel that's been refurbished and it's not been clear coated or it's been refurbished um, poorly, then obviously any solvent based product you apply to that can affect the surface. So test that on an inconspicuous area first. For all paintwork it should work perfectly fine. Available in a range of sizes, so we've got 5 litre, we've got litre and we've got 500 mil. Now if you own a white vehicle um, or you live somewhere where they're having some building work done or road resurfacing, you may use a lot of this product. Um, so it might be worth getting it in one of the larger sizes. But if you want to follow me out to the bay and we'll take a look at what it does and how it works. Okay guys, thanks for joining me outside and I'm going to give you a little bit of a demo now with our Just a Tonic, which is our tar and glue remover. So on some cars, tar might be hard to see, um, so you might not think it's there. Best thing to do is just apply a little bit and see if anything reacts. Um, chances are there is going to be some tar there somewhere and if you don't get it at this stage, you will end up removing it with your clay, in which case it's going to clog your clay up faster as well. So doing the chemical decontamination, which is part of this process, is always worthwhile. So we're on a silver car, as you can see, we've got no issues spotting tar at all. I can see there's quite a lot there. The vehicle's already been washed, so it's gone through the pre-wash snow foam, safe two bucket wash stages. We're going to tar and glue it, and then we're also going to do the purple rain on it afterwards as well. Okay, so we're going to spray it on. Now what you should see straight away is you should start to see it run, you start to see it react, and it should dissolve it. Okay, so. I would say it is a solvent, so make sure you're doing this in a well ventilated area. Um, if you're working outside and it's a really blustery day, you might want to consider wearing uh, eye protection as well. So as you can see, there's no, no problem at all with the seeing where the tar is on this vehicle. Um, it's got a lot of large spots. The smaller spots, such as these, they may come off straight away. The larger spots we may have to revisit and maybe do a second coat. Um, just because of the fact that it's reacting with what's on the surface, it's not getting right down to the bottom of the uh, tar spot where it's actually contacting the paint. So what I'm going to do is take my clean microfiber towel. I'm going to apply a little bit of tar and glue, just a tonic, to the towel itself. Okay, and then I'm going to wipe. So I'm going to lightly wipe over the surface. So as you can see, the larger spots are going to remain. I'm going to revisit them in a second. But the smaller spots should come off relatively easily. So you should like that one there. Okay. Pretty simple. As you can see, you can see the amount of towel that's been removed on that towel. Now for my next pass, I'm then going to turn my towel over. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to apply a little bit more to these larger spots. And basically what we're going to do is remove it in layers. So try and take each layer off until they get right through to the bottom. So I'll leave that for a few seconds. Just remember to make sure that the wheels are in good condition before you start spraying a solvent based product on them. So <clears throat> for these wheels they've got a lot of lack of peel and the paints begin to peel. So not recommended to apply solvent to these wheels. So we would uh, keep that for the wheel cleaner. Okay, let's try again. large piece there. I 
And there we go. So because it's a solvent, obviously you want to make sure that we rinse it off thoroughly with water afterwards. So because it's a solvent, you will want to rinse off the adjacent panels as well, because sometimes when you're rinsing, it can push it onto other panels. Um, so make sure you give it a thorough rinse. What else can it be used on? So just to it can also be used on glue residues. So things like badges. So if you're removing badges from the vehicle and you've got the sticky residue left behind, works perfectly on that. Also be useful for removing old wheel weight residue and any types of glue from vinyls or stickers or anything like that. Works really, really well. Spray it on, let it sit on there for a minute or so. Take your microfiber towel, give it a wipe, and it will dissolve it. So, thanks for watching, guys, and if you've not tried it, give it a go.